Hey guys, we are back here with another video. This week I am, or this video I am showing you guys the plan with me for April 26th through April, or May 2nd. In my everyday planner I did a Pokemon kit because it was the week the Pokemon game came out. Here we are going to do a Harry Potter kit because it is the also the Battle of Hogwarts week. Which I didn't even mark in my planner. Pretty sure it was Sunday. Um, before I do this, let me show you the kit I'm using. I'm a little bit scared because I've never used a kit from this shop. And it is from Creativity and in Ink. And it is this stunning kit. Let me make sure you guys can like really see the foil. Depends how you look at it. It either looks like green or um, I don't know if I can get it to show the other colors for you. In person, it'll look green, purple, blue, just really depends. She calls it, I think, chrome. And it looks like different potion bottles. There's a bunch of boxes here, some boxes on here, some flags, weekend banner, beautiful bottom washi. This paper is like silky, buttery smooth, the date covers, what have you. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I'm bringing in. For, oh, there's also these headers that it came with along with some little mini checklists I might cut up and use as strips. I'm also gonna bring in a purple and a black. And then these, so we'll do three colors for the headers. Or yeah, I have this, which is like, I'm gonna bring in all different, it's gonna be a hodgepodge of foil. So hollow is gonna be like the core color that I'm bringing in. So I have a bunch of hollow stuff that we will pull in and then I'll pick a bunch of different colored foils for the icons and stuff. I also will probably have to pull in some labels from my label book. Um, I don't know if I've showed it in a video. If I have, it hasn't been in a while. This is it. Um, and I just have everything in here sorted by like color and then by size. So I have lots of things I can pull in if need be. But because I have to pull stuff in, this may be a longer video, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna use my, um, what shop is this? Caress Press Inserts. And I did have you guys ask me some questions on Instagram, so make sure you're following me on there. In case I ask for questions, you can help a girl out. Um, and I answered a little most of them or half of them in my last plan with me, but I'm going to answer the remaining ones in this video. Um, what purple should I use? I'm just gonna go with the middle one. Um, so I ended on a Carly question. I'm gonna start on another one. Carly asked me, what's my best and my worst personality traits? Oh my God. I feel like it's only human that like, the first things I think about are all of my bad personality traits, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. Um. I think a good personality trait that I have is, I don't really know what I would say, like, the, oh my god, I need help. A good personality trait of mine, who, I guess I'll start with a negative, I was going to start on a positive, nope, we'll start on a negative, that, that's, that's fine too, um, I'm kind of selfish, if I'm being quite honest. And I'm very stubborn and uh, probably, what would I say is the number one worst thing? Ooh. Why is this so hard? I think I'm going to go with my worst personality trait. Yeah, I guess I'll go with that I'm selfish. Which is at least something I'm aware of. And I'm not selfish in the fact that, like, I don't do things for others. But I'm selfish in the fact that I'm going to put myself first. Which I guess in turn also can be a good personality trait. Because I don't, like, 
put my needs on the back burner. And it's sad that we live in a society where like putting your needs first makes you feel selfish. Um, and then I guess one of my better personality traits is that I'm not a pushover. I'm very confrontational, as Chris likes to tell me. Which I don't think I'm confrontational. I'm just like not going to let people walk all over me because I don't think that that's the best for yourself. Anywho, um, the underscore other underscore gen 86 asked me, did I say these are called your, your wizard? They're in my shop. This is in hollow foil. Um, ask me my favorite pens. The only pen I really ever use is Sharpie fine tip markers. Then I'll use like, if I'm use I don't know what I'm going to write with on this paper. Honestly, I definitely can't use that. I need to get a pen, but I like the... Um, paper may ink joy whatever gel pens ones that aren't supposed to smudge those are really nice or you know the classic g2 gel pen for like premium matte paper which is what this feels like um crafty ink girl asked me a couple of questions she said if i could only buy Stickers or ugh, or wax melts, which would I choose and why? Okay. So I think if I could only buy one, I would pick wax melts because I don't know how to make them. I have a sticker shop, so I could figure out how to make kits if I had to. I could figure out how to make anything really if I like absolutely needed to. But I don't even have the slightest clue how to wait, make a wax melt. So I would then no longer be able to have wax melts if I wasn't going to buy them. So I guess I like stickers more, but I, I could figure that shit out. Whereas I could not figure wax melts out. So that is going to be my answer. She also asked me, did you find a wedding dress yet? And are you wearing white? Um, Chris edits my videos, so I'm not really going to talk too much about my dress. I've had my dress for a while. Side note, if you guys did not know, back uh, a years ago now, I was engaged prior to meeting Chris to... Um, different guy and things just did not work out with him we to this day like are gonna invite him to the wedding well it's like the meme that we're gonna invite him to the wedding because like he's we're both like cool with him why am I stupid okay I'm just putting the full box on top of that because it's gonna rip up I do not really, I prefer the Aura Estelle inserts because the paper is more forgiving, I have noticed, at least for me, but whatever, that's fine, that works as well. Like, I'm, his name's Matt, like, we're completely cool with each other, no animosity, nothing, so because we just both came to terms with the fact that we made better friends. We started dating when we were young, we should not get married. But because we're on very good terms and I spent thousands of dollars on a dress, well, my dad did, uh, and I love it. I'm going to still wear it. I have pictures of it if you want to see it. Um, Liz or anybody, I don't really care. You can shoot me a message and I will show it to you. This one. Oh no, that could not be more crooked if I tried. Okay. Okay. And then her other question is, what is the first park and ride you're going to do when you get to Disney? Okay. So I'm just going to tell you the first ride I'm going to go to at every park because I like talking about Disney. So the because of... Um, COVID, we have, you can't, you have to like reserve which park you're going to. So it can't be as free spirited as I wish we could be of just deciding that like day, which park we're going to go to. 
you kind of have to go in with a set plan of where you're going which days. And so the day we get there, we are going to Epcot. And the first thing I'll probably do at Epcot is go on Spaceship Earth. It's always the first thing I do when I get to Epcot. You gotta, you know, I just feel like it's a must the moment I get there at least for me. So that is the first, the plan of action is to go on Spaceship Earth. And then uh, I don't remember which order we're going to the parks. I think the next day we're going to Hollywood Studios. Um, I'm going to try my best to get on Rise of the Resistance. I honestly really don't understand how the queue for that works, but we're going to try to figure that out, I suppose. Um, but the first thing I'll probably, what is the first thing I'm going to do at Hollywood? I don't have like a first thing I usually do at Hollywood because the last time I went to Disney World in Florida, Toy Story was not there. Star Wars Land wasn't there. There was just like the one ride and that was it for Star Wars. Um, yeah, I'm honestly not super sure what the first thing I'll do there other than Try to figure out the rise of the resistance shit. If any of you guys like are really in the know about that, please shoot me a message. Let me know because I feel like an idiot. Okay. So yeah, then Animal Kingdom. The first thing I always do at Animal Kingdom is from rope drop, run to the Kilimanjaro Safari because I think I might have heard this in my favorite like a Disney YouTuber is Once Upon a Brawn. I don't know if she's the one who mentioned it or if it was someone else, but I'm just gonna give her the credit. That the best like first thing to do is to do at um, Animal Kingdom is to go on the Kilimanjaro Safari because it's obviously the least amount of hot in the morning. So the animals tend to be a bit more active and like, awake so i always do that first things first at animal kingdom so that will not change that'll be the move and then what I, oh, magic kingdom how could i forget um the first thing i will probably do at magic kingdom after bawling my eyes out after seeing that beautiful repainted castle i love the repaint of the castle i know that some people don't i think it looks fabulous is probably going to the small world. I don't know why, it's my favorite ride. It's not fun, it's annoying, but it's just like nostalgic to me for some reason. So that will probably be the first thing I do when I arrive in the Magic Kingdom. I'm just really excited. We're going to all of the parks two times, which is super fun and exciting. I just can't wait guys I'm just so excited to travel again that's been like the thing that has killed me the most during this pandemic is not being able to see the world and then the last like non-question question I got is from my friend Kieran I got lunch with him today he said not a question just love ya and had fun today same back when I first got my like payroll job it was before, like, you know, I was 19 when I started working there. Ew, that's a long time. Um, it was, like, before we had, like, real grown-up jobs. So, like, he was working part-time at a Kmart, and, like, I was working there, and he would just, it was before he had his daughter, he would come all the time, just pick me up from for lunch, and we'd go to the mall, walk around, and I'd get lunch, and then he'd take me back to work. That was just, like, what we did. And so, today, he picked me up, we went to the mall, we walked around, I got an Annie Ann's pretzel, and he took me back to work, and it was very, very, very nostalgic for the old times, which was fun and cute, and I enjoyed it as well. And he does actually watch my videos, so hello. I love you.
Then I have one last full box to put on here, and that will be the end of this talking portion. I am going to fast forward, put down the date dots, the date numbers, and fill in my thankful boxes, and then we'll be back for the day by day. quite possibly oh wait there you see how it looks kind of blue oh yeah there we go this is quite possibly the prettiest base of a spread i've ever done in my entire life so yeah i'm very excited about that so yeah like i said i'm probably going to need to bring a lot of stuff in to this spread i'm going to pre I'm just going like this to like pre-cut up these strips for these checklists because I'm not going to use a checklist and there are not little things in these kits. They are definitely more so for like the traditional white space planner I would say. But the first thing I want to mark is that it's my um, best friend, Caitlin, her husband's birthday. So it's like a meme that he always wears blue. So I'm going to use one of these blue strips that I just cut, I think. <laughs> Probably could have used something bigger, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna cut the other one up. This is already gonna be wild. So that I can cover the icon. Because of course I didn't really think about it and grabbed a million foil icons for this spread. So I have all different foil colors. I have some purple, some like rainbow that's in the blue-green family, some pink. We have all the things. So I have a purple birthday box there, and I'm gonna write in Brian. And then I watched some YouTube and we will use a pink, one of these like fun little pink boxes to mark that, I suppose. And I'm going to use this like blue little film strip from Scribble Prints Co. Along with a YouTube binge script from my show, my show, my shop. That's in hollow and in font choice four. And then the next thing I want to mark in here is that I got Chick-fil-A on my um, addiction to their mac and cheese this week. I do have these foil labels. I'm going to try bringing these in as well. These are from Cricut Paper Co. And I have a little Chick-fil-A doodle from Nightingale Paper Co. along with Chick-fil-A strip from my shop in Font Choice 1. And then down in the afternoon, um, this was the day I decided I was going to quit my job. Let me tell you why. Side note. So I emailed my manager. I'm going to put it on the weekend banner while I tell this story. And I said, hey, I had a death in the family over the weekend. I'm going to take off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for the services and to be with my family. She said, okay. She was actually nice about it. I went online to the portal to request the time off and the portal's all fucked up and it's like not letting me request it off. It's only letting you request three hours instead of up to three days. So I emailed the woman who handles like the PTO and stuff and I'm like, hey, like I talked to Cassandra, Ooh, babe, um, can you cut out that part where I just said her name? Thank you. I was like, hey, like I talked to my manager and she said I could take like, these take some time off due to a death in the family, yada, yada, but the portal's not letting me take it off. She said, yeah, I don't know why it does that. What days? And I tell her, she's like, okay. This was all before nine o'clock. Then at like 11 o'clock, she emails me and is like, 
are you trying to take off bereavement time? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, an uncle is not an immediate family member. I'm like, okay. She's like, did your manager approve you for a bereavement? I'm like, well, yeah, that's what I said in the email. And she said, okay. And she goes, well, I guess I'll give it to you off then. But just so you know, bereavement is only for immediate family. Which, like, if that's the case, fine. Don't fucking pay me. I don't care. I'm literally telling you I'm not going to be there. Someone in my family died. And how? who are you to decide how close I was to that person? I don't know. It really fucking rubbed me the wrong way. And I cried all day and cried all night. And so that's what that's for. And that script is from um, Inspire After. After, it says a bad day is just a day. And I forgot to put in the sidebar this sticker. It's from Once More with Love of Bulbasaur to mark that the new Pokemon game came out. Anyhow, after my rant. Um, so because I had a very bad day, Chris so graciously was like, I'm going to take you out to dinner to your favorite restaurant. So we did that. I'm going to use this cute foiled box along with a purple foiled taco. My favorite restaurant is a Mexican place called Rio Grande. So that was that. And that was good. And that's true love. I apparently forgot to pull a sticker. So give me one moment. Okay, the next thing I'm going to mark is that, you know me already had a new job lined up because I don't play that fucking game. So I'm going to use another, I did not cut these things well. Another one of these strips that I cut terribly. Okay. You know, it's got a little piece missing, but I'm going to cover that up. I have this phone icon. It was from the rainbow foil. It's in like a dark purple. It was black from Scribble Prince Co. To mark that I had a little phone interview that day a new job because fuck those people and then Chris and I watched Naruto this night so I'm going to use this is also from a rainbow foil from Scribble Prints and a TV it's blue, like blue and green I guess I don't know then a Naruto script from my shop in font choice four moving on to Tuesday first things first my manager didn't come to work this day, so that pissed me right off. So I have this, which is also from Inspire of Her After, and it just says seriously, because that's straight up how I felt. The next thing I want to mark is that I pretty much just watched YouTube all day. <sighs> how do I want to mark this? Oh, I can't decide, guys. This is tricky. This, like, kit, the things that it comes with. Okay. We are going to use something green. No, because that's, like, right next door. Okay. We are on Tuesday, and we're already referencing my book of stuff. It's fine. It's what it's here for, right? Let's see. Do I even have a green that slightly matches? Does this match? Yeah. I'd say that matches good enough. So, we will pull that in to mark my YouTube bin. I have this movie clapper from Scribble Prints Co. Put that there with a YouTube binge script. So the next thing I did was I booked a trip because I'm having a bad week and I am fully vaccinated. Chris will be fully vaccinated by the time we go on the trip. So that's what we did. Booked a trip to Austin. Cannot wait. I have another icon from Scribble Prints Co. that's in like a blue green color. Perfect, cute, love it. So the next thing I did was I went to visit my family who was in town from Illinois one last time before they were leaving the next morning bright and early. And they were also taking my grandma back with them. Her mind's kind of not the best. And so she's going to go stay with them for a while. 
And so, yeah, and then I also then went to my dad's house because my cousin who lives in Arizona came into town because the week prior we had a death in the family, like I told you, and he was coming into town for the services. So I went to go see him because I haven't seen him since 2018. So we have a house icon from Scribble Prints Co. here in rainbow foil and then another house icon in like a light purple foil. To put there perfect cute Wednesday um, the first thing on Wednesday was that we had my uncle's services in the morning and I do have these like pretty scalloped boxes which is actually what I use in my other planner Chris I apologize but it is what it is and then we went out after the services to lunch just like the whole family which was really nice we went to like an Italian restaurant oh I did pull this heart icon to mark that for the services and then I have this big ass plate of pasta to mark the Italian food. That's from Happy Dia, Scribble Prints Co. And then afterwards, I went over to my dad's house to basically say bye to my cousin because he was leaving the next morning. He literally just came for the services, had to get back to work. So I have this house icon. I'm sorry, Chris is getting really loud. I want to go tell him to shut the fuck up, but I won't because then he'll get mad at me. So the next thing, this was the day that The Handmaid's Tale came out and I, they like dropped three episodes and I binged all of them. This is from a shop that is no longer open. Sorry about it. And then this is from a shop that is open. It's my shop, Planet Hannah. I quit my job, so please go support. And it says The Handmaid's Tale and that's in a font choice for. And then I took a nap because my allergies, oh my God, are so bad. They're just so bad. And I was not, not okay this day. So I'm gonna use a little, why would I grab green? I literally just put green down. I'm gonna grab the blue color, little strip that I cut. And then, I will grab one of these little black strips that I cut as well. I think it might be okay if I just put the TV on top of it if I line it up right, okay? Let's give it a shot. So for my nap, I have this little Ellie character from Crafty Planner Co. on Etsy, and a nap script from my shop in Font Choice One, and then I have a TV icon from Scribble Prints Co. Oh yeah, line that up pretty good can't see the heart and I watched Love Island all night long after my nap and that's from my shop so that's the first half of the week moving on to the second I'm gonna mark this and I'm gonna mark it huge because nothing really happened this day because it's all stuff that I had in here that I put canceled in because it didn't end up happening because I took the days off of work so I didn't even this is a lie and I'm putting it in my planner as a lie and you guys are gonna just have to love me anyway. I'm gonna put in that I had planning time even though I did not. But that's fine. I have this giant butterbeer in planner sticker from Nerdy Planner Co or something along those lines. I don't know, I've only ever placed one order with them and I don't. I think it's called Nerdy Planner or Nerdy Paper Co. I don't know. I'll have it linked down below. But that's so cute. It's just humongous, so I don't ever really get to use it. And then I have this planning time script from Scribble Prints Co. And it's in, like, blue and green. And then after that, I am going to mark that I made breakfast because that is not a normal occurrence. I usually never make breakfast, never eat breakfast. Don't really do breakfast in this house. I love breakfast food. I'm just not a morning person. So we'll use another one of these hollow labels because that'll be cute. Make market nice and special. How 
cute is that? And I have this like eggs and bacon from Scribble Prince Co. and like the blue and the green. And then moving on to the evening, I worked on orders, of course. I'm gonna use these black and hollow flags. Like the kit comes with, wait, how many days did I work? One, two, three, two, five. No, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work if I use the things from the kit. We'll use the things from the kit, okay? We will. No, I only worked twice, okay. I'm all over the place, guys. I apologize. I am going to actually do some layering. Be a layering queen. Layer these two boxes like this. Then I have this from the Coffee Monsters Co. of Snape. I pulled in Harry Potter icons to mark when I was working. I thought that would be fun. And I have like a purple work script. Yeah, that's cute as hell. Okay. So then I watched Love Island while I worked, like I usually do. Pull in black box for that. And then Chris and I watched Naruto when we got into bed. Is that cute label? So I'm gonna use two different TV icons from Scribble Prints Co. in different shades of blue. And then a Naruto script from my shop in Hollow. Cutie. So then we move on to Friday, and Friday is payday. Literally the best part of Friday, let's be honest. This little green strip here with a little dollar dollar sign and a payday script in like the light purple. Which is fun and then it was my cousin's birthday this day and it's actually my cousin that was visiting from Arizona for like the services and stuff it's actually his wife's birthday um yeah so we will put that in here with a little present in like purple and pink foil and then this was the game that Pokemon Snap came out and I'm gonna mark it really big just to tell you guys that it is the following Tuesday and I'm so bored of the game and I'm trying to force myself to play it because I spent 60 fucking dollars on it. But we have a little Squirtle here from the Coffee Monsters Co. Cute sticker, but I also don't like Squirtle. I'm being like a really big hater right now. I do apologize for that. Um, I guess I'll use another half. Box for this, I think. I'm trying to decide what I want to use. Do I have like a third box in here that would be like in the green or the pink that can match? Probably definitely pink. I have a lot of pink stickers and not in either of those colors. In the size that I'm looking for. What about black? Do I have a black one? I've got to have a black one. No, not particularly. Okay, this is not going well, guys. Nope, it's going well at all. Let me see if I have like a half box because I feel like the half boxes in this kit are quite large, almost bigger than like, this is a regular half box. You see like they're a lot bigger. So let me see if I have one that matches. I think this is too warm. Yep. Matching pinks is so hard. No, not even remotely close. Do I have more than this? Oh no, this is not going well guys. This is not going well at all. What about this? Does this match? Ah, that matches pretty good. We will use this, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna use this to mark that I went out to eat to a restaurant, a local restaurant with my friend Mackenzie. I'm gonna put the name of the restaurant in above this, but that's a custom with Kenzie from my shop. That's font choice number four for all of you who are curious. Then I am going to grab one of these little strippy strips that I cut poorly. I fixed it, okay, in the little green. And I'm also gonna grab one in, oh, 
black, I guess. Holy macaroni, oh my gosh. Having a terrible time feeling this up, okay. Anywho, that was a me problem, not a problem with the kid. The kid is actually cut flawlessly. I just am bad. Okay, so I'm gonna mark on here that I played Pokemon. That is from the SPC Gamer Kit. It's like the kit freebie. And then Pokemon script from my shop. This is under both anime and games. That's font choice one. And then I also was just like had YouTube on while I was doing that. So that icon is Scribble Prints Co. And then YouTube binge is from my shop. And that's in font choice four. That looks so cool over the black. Saturday. My bill for the SPC Mystery Kit came out of my bank account. Was charged. You know. It was the first. So I have this little money sign. Use that to mark that, and then Chris and I did laundry and got Chick fil A, which is usually what we do when we go to my dad's house. We'll get food, do some laundry, and yeah, so we use a little blue thingy there. And then this fits, he sure does. Green half box. Um, this is a doodle from the Coffee Monsters Co. of chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A and a Chick-fil-A script from my shop and font choice one. And then for laundry, this is from Cricut Paper Co. And then I have a laundry script from Scribble Prints Co. And then I worked on orders this night. So we are going to do another one of these cute little layering moments. To mark that with the pink and the black. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This little Gryffindor bear from Grin and Barret, and then a blue work script from Scribble Prints Co. And then the only other thing I did that evening was film. Oh my god, I had these boxes here this whole time. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm gonna pull in this blue one. And, oh my God, that's not all I did. Peel up. Okay. I'm gonna still use this. I just wanna move it up a bit. Okay. Little camera from Scribble Prints Co. And then a film script from my shop. Then I'm going to use, I guess, one of these little green strips that I cut. I'm going to just try to cover the heart with the icon because I don't feel like cutting it. And this is like a hot pink icon from Scribble Prints Co. And then I'm going to write in Love Island because I ran out of hollow ones and I was too lazy to make more. Okay. Okay. First things first on Sunday, my credit card bill. Let's do. Um, I'm going to use this and I'm going to have to cut a little bit off of this other checklist because um, I the foil icon definitely won't cover it. Oh my god, Chris is being so loud. I'm so sorry. Um, little credit card icon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. From Scribble Prints Co. To mark that. I also slept in, which I'm sure comes as no surprise if you are a regular to my channel. Do that pretty much every single Sunday. And I have a once more with love, like sleeping thing, munchkin with a little pillow, and a sleep in script from Scribble Prints Co. and like the rainbow. And then I had a cleaning day this day. We love feeling productive. I'm gonna do like the same thing as I did before with the two little squares. The other way, this girl with like the mop and bucket is from that same shop that's no longer open. And then I have a 
clean the effing house script from my shop. This was in purple hollow from a foil bundle, but the script is in the shop in regular foil. Colors, and then Chris and I went to the mall. Um, why did I want to go to the mall? I know I wanted to go for something. Oh, I wanted to go to Old Navy because my sister told me that the... It's hard on me, I have the hiccups. My sister told me that the Old Navy children's sized face masks fit really good. And the only mask that like I have that I like that fits well is like fleece. And it's A, getting too warm in New York for that. And I wanted definitely something different for Texas. So I also went to Auntie Anne's and got a pretzel. So that is from Happy Daya, the cute little pretzel. And then I came home and I played Pokemon a bit more. Not a lot, though, because it's a fucking boring game. So I have another little Squirtle from Once More or the Coffee Monsters Co. And a Pokemon script. Then I am going to use... He is so loud. Oh, my God. I'm going to use another one of the hollow labels it's okay to mark that this was date night which if you are familiar with my channel you'll know that that's usually date night for chris and i this couple is from happy dia and we went to copper top and this is a custom from my shop because that's a local restaurant and then i the only thing left i have to put in is just this little I was planning on turning in my two weeks the next day, so I, like, could not sleep. My anxiety was so, 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 so bad. So I have this from, it used to be called Banana Doodle Shop, Don't Coffee, Caffeine or something is the new name. And it just says, keep going, warrior. So, I am going to go through and, um... Fill in the spread and then I will zoom out and show you what I have left from the kit. And yeah. Possibly the prettiest spread I've ever done in my life. This kit is stunning. The video does not even do it justice. I'm like trying to show you. Hopefully I'll be able to capture better pictures for Instagram. Let me show you what I have left from the kit. I have three of these foiled headers left. I um, murdered these boxes or these yeah, checklists. There's some things left there. Um, I forgot about these this page, so I did not use these or the flags. I have the headers, labels, some icons and stuff left on here. The rest of the murdered checklists. There are two strips here, four boxes and two bill dues. A couple of boxes left here. No full boxes left. These are like the half cut headers. And then because I fucked up and accidentally put one on there, there's one full box underlay left. That is everything for this video, guys. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, whatever you want to do. Comment down below. Please subscribe. Do all the things. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.